Hello YouTubers, uh, Tross here, back again with some more Factorio, and we're almost done with Advanced Material Processing Research. Um, it's been going along here, at a decent rate. Um, apparently we've had all three of the uh, labs running throughout the whole process. And it has completed now. Um, it says it now allows advanced material processing to um, don't see that exactly here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I think I could have clicked right on it, but that also needs advanced electronics. Um, what, what does that give us? That gives us concrete, or it allows us to research concrete and it gives us electric furnace. Uh, but that's still a ways off. Um, what is next? Let's uh, research electric energy distribution. Uh, these basically give you bigger electric poles that, well, these have a larger range of uh, supplier. You can see this says supply area 7x7, where the normal wooden electric poles are only 5x5. And also, the wires reach slightly longer. This has a tiny supply area, but the wires reach really far. Uh, these are basically transmission lines. Um, I'm going to research this. Uh, I don't care if or when it finishes. Um, I think today we're gonna we're gonna start on uh, a new uh, production line, basically uh, for our uh, plates, and then basically start new production lines off of that because this, while it works. You can see, uh, we're kind of backed up here. <laughs> also, I just noticed our pollution is starting to reach that alien base. Uh, I'm not sure if we can see it this far zoomed out. No, it doesn't look like we can. It's probably just off screen here. So we may start getting some uh, alien attacks, but they should be a few and far between initially. So it shouldn't concern us too much right now. Um, one thing I want to do that I noticed uh, kind of between episodes is um, our power is getting close to the limit. And, you know, if that hits the top there, basically everything slows down. All the mining drills, all our electric arms, and... Maybe this hit the top, maybe that was hitting the top. We're getting really close. Uh, so I have built some uh, steam engines. I'm just going to drop them in here. I put in some poles already. And that should immediately, yeah, we're now only using about half instead of like 80 to 90 percent. Um, the only issue we may have, it's hard to see with the smoke here, is yeah, we have now almost all our boilers going, and we're only powering half. So if we need more power, well, we probably should need, uh, should make another boiler or two, and uh, that is here. Uh, I'm gonna. This is gonna temporarily cut our power, uh, but I'll put these in and then hook the water back up. And for these, I'm actually gonna. I haven't made burner inserters yet. I started off with the electric inserters. Burner inserters are just like electric inserters, except they have a small furnace in them and they run on coal. They're 
not very efficient. However, <laughs> in the case that you do run out of power, electric power, these will power themselves. Apparently when you build them, they start off with a little coal. Uh, but you saw it put two units of coal in it before filling whatever it needs to fill. Same thing with this one. One, two, and then it will fill. It can only hold a little bit of coal, but you can see it uses the coal up as it moves. But once it stops moving, it doesn't use any coal. Not sure how it works like that, but it does. But anyway, that will keep itself going even when there's no power. Uh, which is a useful quality to have. So, uh, in case we ever run out with power, uh, these might stop working, but these two will keep working to supply a little bit of power. Uh, they do produce more pollution, but uh, that's an okay trade-off, I think. Alright, let's get to the uh, reworking of our uh, furnace or production and uh, actually I'll get to that in just a second. There is one thing I want to set up first. Now, we want to make five, but I'm going to put a box there, and so this will basically throw a bunch of uh, conveyor belts in here, so we're going to need some. I'm going to start a little bit down like this because we may want to, uh, down from these. Those are oil patches and we may want to use them later. Um, so that is going to be our conveyor belt that will carry coal. And this will carry, well, something. <laughs> Either iron or copper. And what we want to do is... Oh, I need stone bricks. I was not prepared. Um, how many walls do we have? We got enough walls. I'm standing here holding F, and that's causing me to pick up... Uh, well, stone bricks. Whatever's in the area you pick up is as you hold F. Uh, I have 30 stone bricks. That will be enough to get started. We can make three seal furnaces. And I'll just stand here and pick up some more as this goes. Alright, that was three. Another two. Five now, and hopefully we. Well, another two. I probably should actually just put an arm down and say we can store that many. Let's go. pick up some conveyor belts here. Oh wow, that's almost full already. Look at that. And then we'll come back over here and... Alright. So I'm going to put another conveyor belt down here. That will be the other ore. Uh, 
Ooh, he's changed since the last time I've played. Two, three, four. We'll do six. And we'll go and grab some more. Alright, electrical distribution one is done. Um, let's do this. I may need eventually the fast belts. Uh, need more steel now. Uh, but we're not going to need it immediately. One more. What I can do actually is put one of those down. Now they're the same size, but this smells at a faster rate. The arm actually will now be barely able to keep up. Uh, you see crafting speed is 2, where it's basically double the speed. So, uh, would like one more, but we'll deal with this. Uh, well, there's a lot of plates, iron plates. Well, we're almost out of iron plates here. In fact, let's just finish that off. Okay, I basically made a bunch of arms and then some long-handed arms. And while we're at it, can we... We need steel for this too. <laughs> we need steel for everything. Um, oh. All right. <sighs> what we're going to do here. We're going to have coal coming down the center, and we'll need long arms to grab that coal and uh, put it in. Meanwhile, we'll have the regular short arms taking the ore and then uh, we'll also have them taking the end product out um, so put these in like this and we'll need a few more and <laughs> we're almost out of Plates. So this will be the belt that our end product is on. I need to extend this uh, wall real soon. All right, how are we doing here? Take one of those. Basically, I'm going to leave a lot of room. That's... I don't think that was a... I checked out... You can point to them in... 83%, which means it's pretty much... Almost used up already. Um... Do 
turn this here. Probably I'll leave that for now. What I want to do is I'm gonna make this the iron side. And we'll have uh The pull some iron off to make steel. This will be the steel output line, uh, but that's going to need coal as well. Stone bricks. We should have plenty of them by now. Plates constantly running out of things. That's why I'm building this higher production rate system so we shouldn't be running out of things. Alright. Um, what's. The, um, Tool belt. I don't really need a tool belt. I don't really need lab efficiency. I will need oil processing, but we won't get to that now. Um, I'm just going to research this. Uh, it's still a little beyond where we are. some steel bars as well. There we go. Fine. Almost out of everything. Hopefully we will resolve that in just a minute here. Alright, we're going to need to power this. Uh, with these newer electric poles, you can see we are reaching the long-handed and short-handed uh, inserters. So we can be fully efficient. I'll just put uh, one over here, and then uh, tie those together. And we'll just grab some power from over here. Throw down a few lights so we can see what we're doing. That's pretty good. Um, we're gonna need coal, and we don't want to run out of coal. We 
we'll go around that, I guess. So I'm gonna do a little bit of a trick. Of course, we need more iron plates. And we need copper plates. I'm gonna need actually probably another one of those. So I don't wanna stop our current production. Lasers would be nice, um, but at this point, actually, I think I'm just going to, uh, let's do bullet damage, because I don't really want to get into too much more at the moment. Alright, we're going to take some coal and put it on this splitter. We're going to use the other side to also go onto the same belt, and that loads both sides of the belt. And if we do run low on coal, that will mean this will be all backed up, theoretically, with coal on both sides. You see these long arms are now taking the coal all right and at this point I want to stop well I don't want to stop that production line but I want to massively reduce that production line let's say can't place things too far. Alright, and I want to make an underground belt, but I need more iron plates. Actually, at this point, I don't think I need steel. At least, not for a bit. Okay, underground belt. Uh, basically, you place the entryway, and then you place the exit. They can't go too far, but they can't go that far. And... That should be a massive increase in production capacity. In fact, we should. We don't have the ore we need at this point to support that production rate. You can see it looks like two are keeping up. Um, we had five of these before, and. Uh, well, that means we won't need more uh, mining drills. And we'll probably start on... Well, this, this patch is on the correct side. Um, I also kind of want to route the uh, uh, copper ore over here. Um, 
So I'm just going to put a splitter in for now. Eventually we'll fully route it over. Um, I need more plates. Luckily we have a whole bunch here, just waiting. I still need to get coal over here, but... Um, actually, I think we can do that. Probably going to need to increase my coal production. Alright, let's... Uh, stick that like that. How many... We don't have many, but we should have a whole uh, chest here full. And there goes all the power to those arms. One thing to check is to make sure that there's still room, like that if all of them are outputting, although it's a little hard to check that, that uh, nothing was getting locked up. Let's uh, to get rid of this hole here. And we'll put one more splitter here. Alright, that should now, in theory, be supplying coal. Uh, although we need power. And I could put in a few more uh, iron or steel producing uh, production furnaces. So what we need right now, though, is a bunch of more mining drills. And we got to be uh, making all the components, the circuits, and stuff. We're doing good on power. We're still, we're actually lower than what we were before, but this is kind of all... Uh, not being used too much because we have greatly reduced the iron coming through here. All right, here we go. Um, luckily, we had power going in an alternate path. I'm just going to uh, put this. Never like just having one uh, path for power. So this should have doubled our coal output, which should be enough. You see it's, it's backed up here, which is good. It's backing up here. So we're not, we're producing it faster than we're using it. Uh, I never got the copper in though, so that may change things. Let's get the copper in. Here comes a whole bunch of copper.
as long as the electrical demand satisfaction meter on the right there stays green, we are not using up too much electricity. And, uh, you know, with all those arms going, it looks like we're okay. We're not even half, which is good. Um, let me hit P over here. This is our production, and, uh, let's see for the last hour. Which rock we are producing, and this is iron. It's, it's gone up and down a bit. Uh, iron ore. Our, uh, what is blue? Blue is our copper ore, just... Oh, the, this is consumption. Our copper consumption just went way up. Uh, production blue, copper plate production has gone way up. Well, that makes sense. Alright. Um, we're getting near the end of this episode, but you can see we're now producing a lot of uh, each of the materials. I'm going to do um, a little something, well, basically the same thing we did So we'll get cop, uh, the plates on the inner here so we can have more and they will place on the other side. I'm not sure how many you can have on one side. That may be too many, but we can move that if that turns out to be the case. I'll just do the same thing uh, over here. You basically make a T so it gets put on the other side. If it was just a turn, it would stay on the side it is, but because we have a T, it Move to the other side. Um, but uh, just to finish off this episode here, I'm going to throw down... Uh, yeah, let's do fast production. You can spread these out so that their coverage areas don't overlap. Um, and... That will basically, uh, you'll be mining less quickly, so the supply will last longer, but um, I'm kind of okay if this gets used up quickly, uh, so we can then put other production items there. Uh, I just want an underground belt. So we can move the ore pass there, and come on, I have to get closer. And we're out of how oh, we got. We can make some more. They're cheap. There we go. So this should have uh, tripled the amount of iron going in here. And uh, I'm going to end it here. Next time we will uh, move our production to all over here. We'll probably extend this wall down and around to contain our first production lines, but you can see we're now uh, should be producing iron at a much increased rate. We got five of these furnaces, six on occasion. And, you know, we're only using one side of the belt right now. We can probably, uh, well, more than double that. And uh, we'll also probably put down a few more copper uh, miners and get our copper production up as well. So I'd like to say uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with some more Factorio.